back to the Bursa bus terminal. I'm getting a bus to Chanakale today. Would have been four days ride. Now it's going to be four hours. thoroughly checked. All right, welcome to Chanakale. Thank you. I'm going to have to find a hotel here in Asia for me to drop my stuff and then I can pop over to Europe and check out Anzac Cove.
So this is how the Ottomans defended the Dardanelles, in part. It's been such a strategically important strait for so many years. as an Australian just landed off a boat onto the Gallipoli Peninsula. Really makes you think how far we've come. This is probably the lesser travelled way to get over to Anzac College. What stunning countryside. shifting clicker just broke off. I can still upshift but I have to push my thumb on this little exposed metal clicker piece which is a lot less convenient now. Oh some abandoned buildings. Let's have a closer look. view from above. What a beautiful countryside. Time to continue to Anzac Cove. Oh look, another fake flat cop car. It's even got the lights. The Lone Pine should be around here somewhere. Just a definite uptick in pine trees. It 
it may have been a victory for the Ottomans, but that's only because they were defending their homeland. They lost just as many people as we did. Wounded Anzac soldier being carried by an Ottoman troop. Mate, this place is really sad. I'm here all by myself. I haven't seen another soul. Three thousand two hundred and sixty eight Australian soldiers and four hundred and fifty six New Zealand soldiers. All I can hear is the sound of the wind in the trees. It makes it feel so desolate and lonely here. All these people, they all left their home with the promise of glory and war. And then they get here and the facade is stripped away. None of these people should have ever been here. It's truly a tragedy. World War One had to be the worst thing anyone's ever done. When the old medieval ideals of grand sweeping campaigns finally clashed with the reality of the industrial age. Together creating truly unspeakable casualties. This place really makes you think.
Alright, I'm off to find the landing spot. I haven't seen another person the whole time I've been here. I'm here completely alone. You know, before he was the founder of modern Turkey and their first president, Mustafa Kamal Ataturk was the commander of the Ottoman forces here at the Battle of Gallipoli. He must have been looking at us landing thinking, what are these people doing? Why are they here? There's no chance they'll establish a beachhead. And he was just doing his duty, defending his country. We really shouldn't have been here at all. I don't know what we were thinking coming here. This is the stretch of coastline where the Entente forces tried to land. Gun post. This is a quote by Ataturk. Anyone with any humanity in them would have looked down at these people and felt so sorry for them. I mean, yes, he's doing his duty and he's defending his country, but as one human to another human, you have to feel sorry for these people. Lest we forget. <laughs> 